When setting up a Shopify store, there are a few legal pages that you're going to need to create. And those include a refund policy, a privacy policy, terms of service, and a shipping policy. To create these legal pages, head on down to settings in the bottom left-hand corner of your Shopify admin. And from there, click on the legal section. So as you can see, we have a spot for the refund policy, privacy policy, terms of service, and shipping policy. So let's create the refund policy first. Now, if you already have a refund policy, you can simply just copy and paste it into this description box here. However, if you're not entirely sure of what to write, you can use a pre-made template provided by Shopify. To use this pre-made template, simply click on Create from Template. And once your template is in place, have a read through it and make sure that everything is correct. So for example, swap out the email address if you'd like to change it to something else. Also make sure that it is in fact a 30 day return policy that you're providing. So again, have a read through and just modify any of the text that you'd like to edit. If we go ahead and save our refund policy, we will now see the refund policy in the footer at checkout. So if we head on over to our store and don't mind the store, it's really just for testing. But let's say we throw this into the cart and we go to checkout. You'll now see the refund policy at the bottom here. All right, so let's head back to our legal pages and head on down to privacy policy. Privacy policies are legally required by global policy laws if you use and or collect your visitor's personal data. Personal data may include things like the user's name, email address, mailing address, and credit card information. So very similar to the refund policy, there is the option to create a template here. Again, if you do have a privacy policy of your own, feel free to simply add it here. But if you don't, simply hit the Create from Template button. You will need to go through and replace some of the text. Look out for the text that's all in caps here and basically replace it with text of your own. And if you don't want to add anything to that section, simply delete it. So in this section here, we have examples of personal information collected, name, billing address, shipping address, payment information, which says including credit card numbers, and then we can add different types of payments here as well. So let's say you offer PayPal as a payment method. We could include, you know, PayPal information. And certainly feel free to edit this however you'd like. And just continue on and either replace or delete the information in all caps. And when you do replace the text, simply highlight it and then hit the italic button. And then that way it won't be italic like the rest of the text. And of course, feel free to modify anything outside of those sections that are all capital letters or uppercase. So for example, we don't really need to worry about this minor section, so I'll go ahead and delete it. So we'll go ahead and continue editing the document until the very end. As you can see, most of the privacy policy modifications are really just going to be removing certain pieces and replacing the text where you see fit. Next up on the list is terms of service. And just like the first two, there is a create from template option here. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. And of course, just like the others, if you have your own, 
please do feel free to use it. Now for the terms of service, there's much less to edit when it comes to the text. Definitely give it a read through, change anything you'd like, but the main thing that you really have to keep an eye out for is the email address at the very bottom of the terms of service. So just make sure that the email here is the right one. And if we go ahead and save, the terms of service will also appear in the footer at checkout. So if we refresh the checkout here, you'll now see the refund policy, privacy policy, and terms of service. And the terms of service is important to include on your website because it is a contract between you and your website visitors. The text basically outlines the ways in which your customers can use your website. Okay, so we head on back to our legal pages here. Last but not least, today we're going to set up the shipping policy. Now this one does not have a template and I would imagine that that's because shipping is very unique from business to business and it obviously is extremely custom. Now over on Shopify's blog, and I will leave a link to this in the description, they do have several examples of great shipping policies that you can kind of take bits and pieces from or learn from. And they also include a template that you can kind of use and modify to be your own. So I'm gonna copy and paste that template into this shipping policy text area here. And of course, if you have your own text, again, feel free to copy and paste it into this box here. And once you're happy with your shipping policy, go ahead and click on save. And now, as you can see, all four legal pages are in the footer of our checkout page. So again, we've got the refund policy. We've got the shipping policy. privacy policy and terms of service. And that's it. Now you know where to add your legal website pages onto your Shopify store. I hope you found this Shopify tutorial helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe and thank you for watching.